It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Carolina Panthers and the Chicago Bears. And it's all up next. Well, they say an early season snowstorm may be on deck in less than 48 hours, but today is picture-perfect fall football weather. Crisp and cool at Soldier Field in the Windy City. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Carolina Panthers taking on the Chicago Bears. Brandon Gordon joined, as always, by Charles Davis. Uh, Charles, the Bears, try to piece things back together after a tough 3-14 and 14 campaign. But they've got one guy they can build around, though, and that's Justin Fields. And he is quite the talent, and they're trying to build around him indeed because they've added pieces in free agency, added pieces in the NFL draft. They want to get away from him having to use his legs as much as he did in 2022. They want to be able to throw the ball and move the ball downfield that way as well. Meanwhile, optimism reigning with the visiting Panthers. They've got a new coach. They've got a new quarterback. And they've got a real chance to be a playoff team in 2023. And a lot of it starts on the defensive side of the ball where they've been good for the last few seasons. If the offense joins them, they will be a tough out in the NFC South. Here's the punter, Trenton Gill, now to do the honors, and off we go here at Soldier Field. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. Bringing them out is the number one overall pick this year, Heisman Trophy winner at Alabama, Bryce Young. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. A man who joined the Panthers from the NFC champs, it's Miles Sanders. He'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Young. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. We always hear a lot of veterans on the defensive side of the football. They talk about smelling blood in the water, putting pressure on a rookie. They got to him there to force it free, but couldn't recover it. And you mentioned the pressure. Rookie quarterback, you're going to bring more pressure at him at all times because you don't know how he's going to hold up. He was fortunate there. Luck was on his side, able to recover that fumble. Carolina punt team out there led by Johnny Hecker. Back deep, Trent Taylor. Fair catch signal for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And they'll be led out by a man who nearly broke the single-season rushing record for quarterbacks last season. A true dual threat out of Ohio State, Justin Fields. And not only does he have all the skills that you're looking for as a quarterback, he's incredibly tough and plays the game fearlessly as both a runner and a passer. You provide a good running game around him and let him throw deep off of play action, you've got an all-star in the making. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he will find the open man, it's DJ Moore. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And 
They'll fake the handoff. Now Fields. That's going to be caught at field by Mooney. A huge play there for Chicago. 41 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, oh, we did it all this easy because he was wide open. But once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Give him maybe a yard, quite the opposite from the previous big gainer. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. On second down, here's Fields. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. The improv act there, good for nine, and now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And the Bears are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. So I mean, that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. Johnson is into the end zone for Bears touchdown. So both sides of the football contributing here early. Their defense forces the punt, and then the offense takes it down the field and punches it in on the short touchdown run. And Brandon, that's good complimentary football, and that's what they're going to need if they want to get out of here victorious. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. And he's got it to make it 7 0 in favor of the Bears. So the drive there took six plays, and it results in a four yard touchdown run. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. They'll give him four yards there, and it's second down. Oh, I see you nodding your head along with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. Here is Young. Over the middle, complete. It's Sanders. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. So, Charles, yeah, take nothing away from this young man under center because I know people think he's got a very bright future in this league, but I have to figure the defensive coordinators love the thought of squaring off against a rookie quarterback. And especially if they have guys they can put together a game plan with that's going to confuse, disguise a lot of coverage, make this kid think a little bit. Because in college, he's seen a lot of things. Let's, let's not get it wrong here. But at the same time, in the NFL, you can do so much more because of the athletes you have, because of their football IQ. And don't forget, 
You're going to throw a couple extra rushers at him as well. See if he can handle the pressure when those guys come at him. It's a second down run with Sanders. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. Third and four. Young working out of the gun. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. To return is Taylor. Call that a 46-yard punt with a net of 40 on the six-yard return. And the Bears take over. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They've got the 7-0 lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop, CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they of one mind that, hey, what worked last time, let's keep doing it until they stop us? Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Up the middle, Johnson trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what'll be a third and four. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Here is third down and four. Now it's Fields. Complete on the quick throw to Moore. And he's going to be a yard short. Needed four, but got three. What we hear so often, how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and it will be the Panthers' ball, first and 10. Carolina getting set to take the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out. Because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. Only able to gain a couple there, and that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Third and nine here. Here's Young from the shotgun. And he is caught, and he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. The partner that locked in man coverage out left and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field. And that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Short throw hauled in by Trimble. 
He'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Sanders on first down, not finding much of anything there, as he might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Second down, back to Sanders. Dancing, and Sanders has it poked free. Could have been a costly mistake, but as it turns out, they keep possession. You can't give away these types of opportunities in the red zone. And I'm sure that was flashing through his brain as the ball escaped his hands. Fortunately for him, able to get picked up by his team, fumbled, recovered. They still have an opportunity deep in the red zone. Young on third and two. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he is going to have a Panthers first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. Short yardage situation, you have to wonder if they thought that they were just going to run it inside. But you have to be cognizant of the back slipping out of the backfield, trying to find some open space. And that's exactly what he does to the tune of a first down. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Someone's looking fresh, and his old line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst, nice gain, too. From the three, second and a yard. Another run here with Sanders. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instinct. Being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. The jumbo set out there, third and inches. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. Miles Sanders taking it in from two yards out. And the Panthers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. On third down and short and everything well executed, he not only gets the first down, Charles, he gets the touchdown as well. And you see the defense commit to the run so often in these situations, but there's always that little bit of hesitancy, isn't there, partner? Thinking that they may play action you. They took advantage of that hesitancy and found their way into the end zone with a running play. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. Back in Chicago, ready for the second quarter. It's the Bears in possession as they've got it facing a second and long situation.
They'll give up the middle to Johnson. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Well executed there on second down, so do you go back to the air on third? Well, that's a possibility, but now you've opened up things to where you showed that you would run the ball in long-distance situation. You might come back again because I doubt they believe you'll do it a second time. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. Two yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and ten. The Carolina offense about ready to go. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. That throw by Young incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll look to throw. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. The Panthers on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and ten. Young to throw it. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 28. A very well-executed play. It goes for 29 yards. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. And that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 as they've got it to the 28-yard line. Throwing Young. That's caught by Mingo right side. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Well, following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury. And we'll be back in a moment. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Option right, Young. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. And now third and goal coming up. The loss on second down, 
That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. Young with it, third and goal. chance to scan the field there it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice the protection was that good unfortunately for him the coverage downfield equally good this is up and good from Pinheiro and they take the lead here now at 10 to 7 so they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. After the field goal, on to kick it away is Pinheiro. Take it at about the one. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The Chicago offense set to get started. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 21. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He's got the connection to Moore. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Now we're going to get a stoppage. It appears to be an injured Bear on the field. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now a handoff, Johnson. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Ball on the 39, here's the second and five. And we've got movement. I think this is against the Bears here. Let's find out. Oh, jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe trying to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. And oftentimes when you see that, Don't that means that. the play call was supposed to come in his direction, and he was eager to go catch a pass. Looking to throw on second down. Fields, nowhere to go here. He lost the football. down for the Panthers and Charles look at the big fella what a rumble that was not only to scoop it but then take it the rest of the way for the touchdown and now you know they're gonna have to hear about it from now on the defensive backs he's gonna want to run with them do their drills the whole deal he thinks he's the pace setter now it doesn't matter what happens in practice this week he's smiling Pinheiro now to add the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So 
So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. They find themselves down 17-7 as they start this drive first and 10. to throw his fields. That's complete to Mooney. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. 11 yards for number 11. Well, this hasn't really been a first half to remember on either side of the ball, but I think this kind of makes this an important drive. You'd love to get this back to a one-score game if you can, and that's good work there to get some yardage here and pick up the first down. On first down, it's Fields. And that one going to come up short, low throw. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. On the option right is Fields, pushing through the contact. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A really nice effort that time. 12 yards on the keeper, picking up the first. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively, because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball. But the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. From the 48-yard line, here's second and four. On oh, the option left is Fields. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. 14 yards that time and a first down on the keeper. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people are worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. The field's going to take this himself. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Now they go screen, it's complete. And they're gonna have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 19. A strong pickup of 11 keeps their drive alive. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Here's Fields. And they're going to get him. He sacked back around the 28. It was Justin Houston, the native of Statesboro, Georgia, with a sack. He continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. And these sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. It'll be a gain of nine, 
And it'll be third and ten. No shortage of impressive moments from him thus far. Now he's halfway to the century mark, and we're still in the first half. There's been no answer for his running ability so far by the defense. I can't wait to see what adjustments they'll have to make during the halftime break. Throwing on third down, Fields. Wide open receiver complete. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. That was a heck of an effort to stop him just short of the marker, but now they're going to need another big play on fourth down on defense, I believe, because offensively, they went from third and long to now it's a ghost situation here on fourth and inches. They run. It's Johnson. And he's brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. They only needed about four or five inches there, relied on the big guys up front, and got it done. Yeah, this is the time to just go ahead and hit it straight ahead. No juking, right? No movement in the backfield. Take the ball and go. As I heard a coach tell a player a long time ago, save your dancing for the club, son. Just get up into that line of scrimmage. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Corey Blassen game. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Bears have cut it back within a score. And when the smaller guy can't power it across the goal line, Charles, sometimes you need to go with a fullback. They did. It worked. What's that thing about force and mass? How's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Force equals mass times acceleration. Oh, that's big time stuff. That's, that's from the same guy I, the apple dropped on his head, right? <laughs> Santos with the extra point. And the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The possession of the football goes over to Carolina. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. In motion left, that's Thielen. Now they show Jet Sweep, but instead a run up the middle here. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes that's a danger, putting that jumbo set out there. You just get a lot of bodies massed in one location. You could wind up with 18, 20, maybe even all 22 in the box, and there's nowhere to run the football. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. On the slant, this is Chark. It'll go as a gain of four. And third and eight now. What terrifies defense is when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. That's a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal gain. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Young on third down. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard stripe. So on now is Johnny Hecker to punt this one away. 
And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And here's Taylor on the return. It'll be a 44-yard punt. The return goes for eight. And they will take over first and ten. Onto the field now come the Bears. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. On first and ten, here's Fields. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw it through contact and short of the sticks. On second down, Johnson. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Third down and ten. Fields. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now here's Trenton Gill now. They juked him. A seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with a slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Now a first down throw for Young. Taking a shot here for Marshall. That's caught inside the 20. A big play there just before halftime. 42 yards. There's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process. And really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Young will set to throw. That one complete. He finds Shark. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Four yards on the And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that. But let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner? Because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gain something out of that drive.
So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So we come upon halftime. Intermission here with the visiting Panthers taking the lead to the locker room. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. In that first half, we saw the veteran Miles Sanders doing his thing. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. going to see the football first and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half and out a little across the 25 to the 27 so here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter well Charles in that first half we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter and we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. And they start the second half with Johnson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes being a linebacker in the middle of the field is kind of like being a doctor on the field. you got to make the right diagnosis. Here he correctly sets his run and shoots through to make the play in the backfield. Here's Johnson again on second down. He takes this for three to the 29. They'll see about converting this third and eight. Here's Fields. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Justin Houston able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. It has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer for this pass rush? What blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And we're seeing the end result on the scoreboard. Long day in the pocket for their quarterback. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. And Young's throw there incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right, they did something to disrupt that timing. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They're going to look to throw. That's the tight end, Hurst, with it. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because 
He really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred the defense. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand. And that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it'll be first and 10 Bears from deep in their own territory. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't. And at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage. So they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. On second down, here's Fields. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can. And that's what he's done very well in this game. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Well, that last run for a first down, it really shouldn't be the last straw for the defense. I don't care how many they've had in the box. They need to add more people. Now fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Now an option play on second down corral him he fights through now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35 a big time gain there on the keeper using his legs to hurt him first down so this play you know until recently only something you probably expect to see in a college game but running quarterbacks are certainly in vogue and this turned into a big play and you and i both know that for a long time coaches worried about their quarterbacks taking too much punishment running plays like this and they still worry about it but when you can break off big chunks of yardage like that it's worth the risk plus you're coaching that quarterback to see those guys coming and get down before the big hit occurs and he is met at the line of scrimmage and he goes down right there call it no gain on the play and it'll be second down nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive agreed and they really needed that one for confidence just to feel a little bit better but i don't know if i would be daunted by them stopping me on one run this drive has gone pretty well i could come right back at them there's a short throw it's caught by commit nine yards and that leaves him just short so it'll be third and less than a yard the coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man that's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, but when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? On third down, Johnson. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. Make it now three tackles for a loss in this game, one for each quarter. And for a guy who played defense in college, I can just tell you, that he's feeling very satisfied right now by what he's doing. 
but he's elated because he knows what he's doing is helping his team win the game right now, making some big-time plays, getting into the offense's backfield and spilling everything. On fourth down, Fields, and it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bears tried it on fourth down, unable to convert, and the Panthers will get the football back. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. First down, Young, stiff-armed him. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll bring up second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And they'll stop him after a gain of a couple to the 33. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Third and three. Now Young. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. So it looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time ends up leading him just a bit too much. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And looking up into the sun, he's able to make the fair catch inside the 20-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. The Bears' offense out there set and ready to go. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go-around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, OK, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit if they're in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. Here's second and four from the 24. Now Fields. And this will be caught by Mooney. And Mooney going to have a Bears first down as the tackle made up around the 33-yard line. Nine yards that time. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Fields going to keep it running left. Escapes the defender. And this will be a Bears first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. Pretty nice play here. They go read option, read the defensive end, and when he collapsed down inside, how about the quarterback pulling it, keeping it, and not only getting to the second level, but picking up some really nice yardage. Very, very well read. The first down carry here for Johnson. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Now second and five. A toss left side, Johnson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Well, let's face it, that's just a helpless feeling for a running back there. He's looking up to find a hole, and all he finds is a whole lot of ticked off linebacker. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now it's Fields. Oh, he had him. 
He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Had to pass there, third and long on your own side of the field. Just couldn't come up with anything. That's why teams always talk about having to win the early downs, meaning you've got to gain yardage and set yourself up for third and short because when it's third and long, the odds go down significantly trying to pick up the first down, even throwing the football. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. First and 10, Young. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. So from the 26-yard line, here's second down and two. Young to throw it. On the throw, let him too much that time. It's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. third down they'll run it with Sanders and he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25 the defense stiffens to force fourth down following that first down gain of eight part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner but the converse is though you've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks and when you don't that's the result you end up with here's Johnny Hacker now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and the Bears take over. Another drive coming up for this Chicago offense. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. Let's see if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive, first and 10. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. They begin the drive with Johnson. Yeah, they'll get it across the 35. It'll be second down. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You can go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. And the slot man goes in motion left. Here's Johnson again on second down. And he'll get about three out of that up to the 39-yard line. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The offense on third down, they're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This time it's third and three. Here's Johnson. He's been busy this afternoon. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Take it at about the 16. Call it an even 40-yard punt. 7-0 on the return. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. 
And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Able to power through, and this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Well, with the fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier, probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. Now this one into the hands of the tight end, Hayden Hurst. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 23 yards the pick up there. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Running right, here's Sanders. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Now a second down throw for Young. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Young. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 22-yard line. 18 yards, a big pickup there on third down. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And able to work his way down to the 16. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Good gain there on first down. It keeps him in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Baseman. Defense. What's the deal, y'all? Trailing in the fourth, this close of a game, that's a penalty you just can't afford. It's an absolute killer, and it's one that drives coaches and teammates insane. So the face mask moves him closer, and now first and goal. Another run here with Sanders. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he's going to ball his way in. Score. Miles Sanders, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Panthers are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. And that right there is the definition of a statement drive. You're in the fourth quarter, trying to get to the finish line. And here, they were able to hold the ball for a long time and move it down the field. And how about them finishing it off with the touchdown run? Winning football 101, check that box. They'll turn to Sanders, and he is into the end zone again as he scores both the touchdown and the two-point conversion to extend this lead.
Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. This fielded right at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. The last series form a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 22. He'll start with a handoff to Johnson. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. Here's a second and five. Back to throw, Fields. Being chased out left. And he's able to take this one up to the 35 yard line. Eight yards that time, able to take off and the result is a first down. These are running back numbers that he's accumulating right now. Received double digit carries and has rewarded them by breaking the century mark and rushing in addition to what he's done through the air. Definitely MVP caliber football we're witnessing. Fields on first down. Open man here is Scott, complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You've got the first one for the second one to even matter. Here's a 20th carry for Johnson. And this will be a Bears first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. On first down, Fields. And he will find Scott on the right side complete. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on him. Really well done. Here's Fields now on second down. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Brian Burns picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback, run those extra defenders on the field, dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They snap it to Fields. And this is caught. He hits more. And he is going to have the Bears first down. And it is a big letdown there defensively. They somehow allowed to convert on fourth and long. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Now motion left with Mooney. They go back to the ground with Johnson. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Brandon, that's what you call being manhandled at the point of attack, and I know the offensive line gets a lot of blame for that one, but occasionally the defense just knows what you're going to do. Maybe they scouted it perfectly. Maybe someone tipped it off, but on that play, it had no chance. Here's Johnson again on second down. Pushing his way through, and he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. A great play there.
his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bears have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone, I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground, and he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Now the point after try for Santos. He's got it, and they're back within a touchdown at 28-21. A 10-play drive that time, and a long run there in the end to top it off. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. Now Raheem Blackshear going to take this one out. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Carolina getting set to take the field. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts. So we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, and by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Shotgun snap, and then the give to Sanders. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Chark the motion man right. Now Young fakes a sweep and looks to throw off play action. That is taken in by Hurst. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 43. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll run with Sanders up the middle, and they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. a big one now trying to hold this lead they're going to go for it here on fourth down Young pass taken in by his 
big tight end that even though he gets out of bounds to stop the clock, it's not going to matter. That first down going to be enough to write a finish to this one. What a chance they just took. A huge chance. They go for it on fourth down, wind up getting the first. Go ahead and admit it. You thought it was a bad call, didn't I you? I did, yes. I think, you I think did any, too. I think any normal person <laughs> did. How about him picking it up? Give him credit. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Down to an goes Young, and that should be the final act in this one. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. And for the visitors, it is going to be a happy flight home. It is always such a treat, Charles, in the NFL when you can go on the road and get a victory, and that's exactly what they accomplished here today. Ah, oh, the trip home so much sweeter, isn't it? All the noise they heard before, how tough it is to win on the road, how tough it is to play in this stadium, how hyped up that crowd's going to be. They just used it.